ones a little bit more? You want to just get a big one? Depends on how much more. And we can put shelving inside and make it into a uh, root cellar. I look like a, a sperm or something with this on my head. We just left a, a tornado shelter place and we got one coming on the 17th which is exciting. If you live anywhere in Oklahoma, you know it's very important to have a tornado shelter, especially in our area. We've been, this is year three without one, and let me tell you the anxiety you get when you know there's storms coming. So this will be nice to have for this coming spring. And it's a great time because, you know, with the rush of tornado shelters in the spring, people are usually unhappy sometimes with theirs, so they return them and then you get to buy them at a discount. So that's what we did. Got it for half off. So if you are looking for one, call and ask them if they have seconds. That's what this place calls them, I don't know. That's what we're doing today. We got the big one. Yeah, the big one, woo woo. Last time we bought, we got the small one. And I mean, it was fine, but now we have, you know, mom and dad with us down here so we need a little bit of extra space so we got a 5 by 11. Dad's finally ready to get started digging on his foundation for their house so he and Miles are squaring up the pad and I think this week is when he'll start digging so that's exciting it's gonna be a very busy year or two starting a brand new house. Dog. Buster Come here, Buster. Come here. <laughs> what do you got there? 20 and three inches, sorry. I gotta get 20 feet. Probably over to around where your hand is. Good boy, Buster. Buster. Just work an X in the dirt there. Got it? Okay, now I'm going to go crossways and go 44, 8, and 5, 8. <laughs> so the plan is to make a, a 40 by 20 pad then they'll move their camper down here and cover it with an awning and then get started building the house so he's going to dig this trench we'll put up the forms and then have somebody come out and pour pour this pad for us and the house is going to be a raised foundation he said springtime so We'll see. Well, let's hook up this box blade here. We're gonna be uh, spreading some gravel so a uh, truck doesn't get stuck delivering the storm shelter.
it is time for our cellar to be installed. The guys just showed up. They're gonna get started digging in just a minute. It's an exciting day. We're not quite there yet and we're hitting rock.
so the handle they brought for this thing is the wrong handle so they're gonna have to bring either a new handle or a different door it's a good thing it's not tornado season A project that we're going to be doing real soon is the back porch. And before we do that, Miles wanted to get our parking spot all fixed up and also run the last light that we have to put outside. We've got this lone tree here that he's wanting to light up. So he's going to get that wire ran, install that light, and then smooth out this little pad for us to park so that when our porch is done, we'll already have all this ready for it. As of right now, we are both parking in the front of the house and having to walk up, you know, 15 stairs to get to the front door. So we really want to hurry up and get the back porch done uh, because that's a pain in the butt. And we're getting old. We can't be going up and down these stairs all the time. I need to cut that down a little bit more. And then that's where we're going to put the steps. And probably put a ditch right here. I see like a natural low spot right here. Are we sure we want steps and not just like a, a bridge that slightly goes down? How about a zip line? <laughs> we're, we're just about too old for stairs, okay? <laughs> That's my point. Well, I could do like more like a ramp, I guess. The only problem with the ramp is the slipperiness in the winter. We'll put a slide, a slid on top uh -uh. to slide down like a bobsled or something. Do we even have two lights? Yeah. Okay. Yep, five lights. Hmm. We talked to our spray foam guy, and unfortunately, uh, the price has now doubled since the last time we um, spoke to him about it, which is about a year ago. So, we decided that we are going to hold off. Uh, we're going to wait wait out the winter. I mean, we've made it this far. We'll be fine, I think. I think we can <laughs> I think we can make it through this winter and <clears throat> see what the prices look like in a few months maybe. I don't know. We're definitely not paying double, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, no spray foam for a while. So our next um, our next projects would be building a back porch uh let's see what else railing our front porch we have trim work to do inside we need to install some interior doors and siding for the house and we still don't know what we're going to do about siding so yeah we're just going to take it one day at a time and see see where we get I really think the back porch is going to be happening uh, sooner rather than later just because, you know, like I said earlier, we want to be able to park back here and not have to climb two sets of stairs to get in the house. So once we have this all smoothed out, which is what he's doing today, putting the last couple of lights in and smoothing out the gravel, dropping a couple more buckets of gravel down here, 
we'll be ready to get started on that. Getting too old to squeeze anything. Gotta use tools. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Can you tell? Can you tell there's a wire? It was uh, on. <laughs> that one's on. We'll leave it not all the way in, so if someone hits it, it'll just Topple fold, over. fold over.
a shovel. Uh, I don't think so. Just kidding. <laughs> you get a shovel. <laughs> yeah. Gotta figure out how to. I need like two lights, two more lights, like one on this side shining up, and another one over there shining up. So you see it coming this way too. Mm -hmm. Waiting on me to say something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something nice. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all, folks. We will see you next time.